Senator Cruz, good morning. Those were your words four years ago. You don't believe that anymore? Well, good morning. It's, it's good to be with you. Thank you for having me. Uh, you, you know, it's interesting. If you look at the debate four years ago, every single political player has switched positions. I looked at your clip of politicians from 2016. You know who you didn't play? Joe Biden. You didn't pay, play Hillary Clinton. You didn't play Nancy Pelosi. You didn't play Chuck Schumer. Why? Because every one of them is saying exactly the opposite of what they're saying now. Everyone has switched positions. We have Hold actually on. said that on this broadcast, yes, but, that, but, but that doesn't But, but really... I listened to your promo and you only played the words <laughs> of Republicans. I saw your tweet saying, Ted Cruz, why has he switched his positions? And I'm curious, when you have Chuck Schumer or Joe Biden on, does your tweet say, we we invite why is Joe come Biden on. We'd love but, to have but, them on. Now we're going to get right into this hilarious smackdown of the media by Ted Cruz. But first, give me just a moment to tell you about this special offer from this episode's sponsor, My Patriot Supply. When you see what's going on in our country right now, there's plenty to be concerned about. Social unrest is making life very uncomfortable and it could quickly get worse. These are realistic dangers, so don't let yourself be caught unprepared. Here's what to do right now. Go to www.preparewithdronetech.com and start building your emergency food supply today. The experts at My Patriot Supply are the only people I trust and use. And right now, you can save $100 off a full four-week supply of delicious, nutritious meals the whole family will love. My Patriot Supply makes it easy to be prepared at all times. And saving $100 off a life-saving four-week supply of food is too good to pass up. The second half of 2020 is going to be wild. So go to preparewithdronetech.com and get ready right now. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Do it now. <laughs> I'm not always a big fan of Ted Cruz, but he wins me back anytime he smacks down the media for their partisan double standards. And in this case, he does it very thoroughly. Earlier today, Cruz went on CBS this morning to talk about the upcoming SCOTUS nomination, which is, of course, driving the Democrats and their media off a cliff of insanity. Especially now with Romney saying that he'll vote for whoever Trump nominates, which just cracks me up. I mean, didn't Romney just vote to impeach Trump before bringing Cruz on? the Democrat Party operative host played a bunch of clips from 2016 showing Republican calls to block Obama's SCOTUS nomination before the election. After the American people finish making in November the decision they've already started making today. If there's a Republican president in 2016 and a vacancy occurs in the last year of the first term, you can say, Lindsey Graham said, let's let the next president, who it, whoever it might be, make that nomination and you could use my words against me and you'd be absolutely right. It has been 80 years since, since a Supreme Court vacancy was nominated and confirmed in an election year. There is a long tradition that you don't do this in an election year. Okay, first of all, a few details that CBS News is purposely leaving out. Obama was a lame duck, ending his second term with no chance of re-election. Why should he get to fill the Supreme Court seat when two brand new people are about to run for president? That's not the case with Trump. He's still carrying out his first term, and part of his duties as president is to fill the Supreme Supreme Court seat. Second, in 2016, Republicans were just using Joe Biden's own words to justify blocking the nomination. The so-called Joe Biden rule. So, of course, what happened in 2016 isn't really comparable to what's happening now in 2020. And based on that fact, it's not really fair to call Republicans hypocrites. But whatever, so what? If that's the case, it also means that Democrats and their media are total hypocrites. But so what? Democrats and the media are hypocritical every single day, and it doesn't even seem to matter. You know, it's interesting. If you look at the debate four years ago, every single political player has switched positions. I looked at your clip of politicians from 2016. You know who you didn't play? Joe Biden. You didn't pay, play Hillary Clinton. You didn't play Nancy Pelosi. You didn't play Chuck Schumer. Why? Because every one of them is saying exactly the opposite of what they're saying now. Everyone has switched positions. And so the whole, the whole promo you're pushing about hypocrisy if you want to say it, you could say everybody involved in this is a hypocrite. Okay, I think that's actually, I don't actually, we, by the way, we, okay? have, we have actually said that on this broadcast, yes, but, that, but, but that doesn't But, but I listened to your promo and you only played the words <laughs> of Republicans. I saw your tweet saying, Ted Cruz, why has he switched his positions? And I'm curious, when you have Chuck Schumer or Joe Biden on, does your tweet say, We, we invite why him to Joe come Biden on. Dave, we'd love but, to have but, them on. But, but did you tweet and say, why did they change positions? We've and I'll mentioned tell you, there's actually they changed a reason. positions. <laughs> 
<laughs> Every point here made by Ted Cruz is 100% accurate. And it's also further proof of the media's absolute corruption as lapdogs for the Democrat Party and the Joe Biden campaign. Cruz also mentions tweets made by CBS News calling him out and other Republicans for supposed hypocrisy, but failed to do the same to Democrats. Now, obviously, this isn't surprising. They're just doing this as their daily deception against the American people. But it just adds insult to injury for the CBS host to lie to our faces and claim that they've accused Democrats of hypocrisy too. It's just such an obvious lie. I mean, if what he said is true, it should be pretty easy to find, right? I scrolled through two days of tweets and stories from CBS News and couldn't find a single one calling out Democrat hypocrisy on this issue. I did come across an interview CBS just did with Democrat Amy Klobuchar. Their tweet about the interview, of course, sets up Klobuchar to attack the Republicans without a single mention of Democrat hypocrisy. So instead of asking any critical questions or calling out Democrat Party hypocrisy, they just talk strategy, framing Republicans as the hypocrites. It's great uh, to be on. Senators, um, Senator Schumer said over the weekend uh, that nothing is off the table if Republicans move to fill Justice Ginsburg's seat. Kayleigh McEnany told us this morning there will be a nomination this week. What are Democrats prepared to do uh, to fight back? Senators Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski, Republicans, are both opposed to filling the seat uh, this close to the election. Do you think there will be other Republican votes? You're, you're right about that. We could say that she certainly persisted and she was certainly beloved, it seems, on both sides of the, of the aisle. But the truth of the matter is, to get back to Anthony's point for just a second, the numbers are against you. So are Democrats putting pressure on Republicans to look in their soul, as you say, to do, in your opinion, the right thing? Are you pressuring people? You and your, sure. your colleagues behind the scenes? And if so, Weird. who? I mean, is anybody at all surprised that this host was just lying through his teeth? So yeah, another great exposure of the corrupt media by Ted Cruz. That's all I have for today, but I did want to remind you all that tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, I will be doing the weekly live Discord chat stream. We'll be talking POTUS, SCOTUS, and the news of the day, so make sure to check that out. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. You might as well hit that bell notification while you're at it, because otherwise you're probably not going to know about new content. If you'd like to support this channel, please check out all the options available in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.